Yeah, uh, great question. I would say um, Vin is one of the many guys that kind of epitomizes what this organization's about. And I say that meaning, um, obviously, everyone knows Vin's success as a basketball player. So he's able to speak to, um, you know, the experiences and the things that you have to go through, the adversity and this, uh, how to deal with both success and failure on the court. Um, and then what I would say people don't see as much is uh, the insight that he's been willing to provide from an off the court standpoint, the things that he's gone through in his life that um, he helps us learn from and hopefully helps um, us uh, make decisions based off of his experiences that um, would put us in a position to have success off the floor. And I think his openness openness and willingness to do that um, is what has been one of the coolest things that I've seen in my entire career in the NBA, because um, you don't necessarily know what you're getting into when you get into the NBA, both from a basketball standpoint, but also from an off the floor standpoint. And so the past players and especially ones like Vin who had so much success on the floor, um, their willingness to be open and honest about things that they went through uh, and try to help that next generation of players, um, you know, learn and make decisions based off that uh, is truly incredible. Well, I said that, I think you said it was hard to describe, but it was like, so whenever he meets with Vin, he's not wanting for so Yeah. Vin, I guess if that makes sense. How would you just describe sort of his, like, for like, like his light, as a person, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's just a guy that you enjoy being around. Uh, you know, you can have conversations with him, like I said, about really anything. Um, you know, the stories he has from his playing days, the um, experiences that he's gone through, and uh, more his just willingness to exude positivity into and confidence into yourself uh, is what's been most impressive for me. Um, you know, after a minute and a half conversation during a timeout with him, uh, you feel like you can go out there and dunk on somebody or make seven threes in a row. Um, but having a conversation with him for 10 minutes off the floor after a game, you feel like you can go out and make a difference and have an impact in the community, which you could argue is more important than the dunking on somebody during a game. So I think just that type of personality that he has and willingness to um, not just exude confidence, but to speak to uh, the different things that you'll come in contact with and have to go through in the world kind of makes it um, such a family like atmosphere, which is what I think the Bucks have done a tremendous job as, as an organization. And he's a um, really good example of it. Uh, we'll go to Devon for some questions on zoom. Go ahead, please. All right, first Zoom questions from Joe Van. Hey, Pat, um, you guys obviously switch a lot defensively, and I'm, I'm curious about the adjustment from defending Trey Young to going to defend Chris Paul and Devin Booker and maybe some of the similarities and, and differences in, in that task. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think uh, all three of them are tremendous players. Um, two of them are really great point guards. One of them's one of the best point guards of all time. And I think some of the similarities are um, they're really crafty in utilizing uh, their bodies and putting themselves in those positions to have success, both from making shots, but also from getting fouled. So defending without fouling and making sure positionally you're in the right position to not get caught, um, whether it be via a ball fake, a rip through, um, you know, an off balance move, whatever it might be. Uh, and then, just understanding the differences in the three different players, obviously, um, you know, the, the Devin Booker being a, more of a two guard, more of a, um, obviously height uh, is a little bit, he's a little bit taller than the other two, but um, they all have so much success in different ways on the floor. It's really just about understanding what their comfort zone is. The one, two, three moves that they're trying to get to most often trying to make it as tough for those two, three moves as you can um, and try to put them in a position to have to go to the counter moves four or five, whatever it uh, might be uh, in order to, you know, try to put us ourselves in the best position to uh, have the most success. Okay, next question is Matthias. Uh, hey, Pat, here's Matheus Ornelas from Brazil. Uh, congratulations for getting on the NBA finals. And I, I want to make a question for you because you have two tough series against the Nets and, and the Hawks. And how do you think that prepare you players for the NBA finals in a year that all the players are for the first time on the finals? Yeah, I'd say it's just, 
Adversity, right? Uh, overcoming adversity. I think uh, as an athlete in general, as a competitor, you're going to have success and failure. You're going to have to fight through adversity at some time. Um, and I think not just this year, but going through it the last few years and seeing you know, what it takes to win in the regular season versus winning the playoffs, to see how together you have to be um, both on and off the court to put yourself and your team in the best position to win. Uh, and then specifically this year, you know, um, it hasn't been an easy journey, but the, um, you know, we stuck together. Uh, we've had open, honest conversations. We've tried to make sure that we're putting ourselves in a position both on and off the floor uh, to have success and overcoming adversity throughout the playoffs is inevitable. Um, it's been inevitable over the first three rounds. It's going to be inevitable in the finals. So uh, remaining together and sticking together, I think has been basically the um, start of what the, culture of the Bucks has been built on uh, and it's going to be something that we have to continue to exude in order to have success in the finals. All right final question from Zoom is for Christos. Hey Pat hope you're doing well in case you're going to play without Giannis at least in the first couple of games of uh, the NBA finals what would you like to maintain from the series against the Hawks the last two games against the Hawks and what are your advantages against the Hawks against the Suns? I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't replace a player of the caliber of Giannis, right? Um, Two-time MVP, the things that he does on a nightly basis on both sides of the ball, you can't replace it. But I would say as a human being, um, it's even more impressive what he does and what he's done since he's been injured, um, continuing to be vocal, if not even more vocal, uh, pulling players aside individually, uh, addressing the team collectively, making sure he's still present and more than um, a big part of what we're doing uh, has instilled confidence in both individual players as well as the team in general. Uh, you know, obviously you're talking about a guy that puts up 30 points a night. You're talking about a guy that um, rebounds the basketball, passes the basketball, defends, you know, as well, if not better than anybody else. And you're not going to necessarily replace that with one guy or with one thing. Uh, the way we've tried to make sure we've put our best foot forth to have his back while he's out um, is doing it together. Uh, obviously, Chris, Drew, Bobby, there's been a, a bunch of guys that have stepped up in his absence, but it's been a collective group effort. It's been playing together. It's been sharing the basketball. It's been defending as a team um, and gang rebounding and doing all of the little things that, uh, you know, it takes to win a basketball game so that um, we can try to put ourselves in this position to get to the finals, to give Giannis some more time to get healthy because um, without him, we wouldn't be here. And um, the things that he does off the court, um, we all see what he does on the court, but the things he does off the court, in my opinion, are, you know, even more impressive. Thank you. Appreciate it, Pat. Thanks, guys.